Hello, good day everyone. I'm Cheryl T. Amogis and my topic is all about digital media. Lesson 1, the computers. So our objective for this lesson is um, distinguish the difference between computer assisted instruction and computer manage instruction discuss the role of the computer in teaching identify the advantages and limitation of the use of computers in learning and enumerate techniques for an example of integrating computers in the kindergarten program and next is to create a side presentation using any slide application and last is to write a lesson plan for kindergarten learners with the integration of computers so at the present computers are available everywhere teachers are using computers to present their lesson even to a young learners so they use different computer software to make their presentation more engaging to a young learners like for example is a television in classroom so it will use to have a video presentation to a children so computers can be used to assess learners in their learning in school as well as in their home so the role of computers became significant for education at all levels including kindergarten so these lessons will present the difference between computer assessed instruction and computer managed instruction so the role of computers in educational setting will be discussed together with the advantages and limitation of the use of computers in learning so further the lesson will enumerate techniques for an example of integrating computers in the kindergarten program so also challenges it challenged learner to create presentation using slide presentation software and writing lesson with the integration of computers for kindergarten learners using computers in teaching kindergarten so since the rapid popularity of computers it has been become one of the key instructional technology used in both formal and informal education so a teacher can use computer as an aid to manage their classroom activities so it plays important role in the curriculum and learning experience of a learners at all ages so Hoglad 2000 in her article it states that many educators do not recommend the use of computers for young learners it is because computer do address young learners or learning style they need activities that allow them to use their body and senses to acquire important skills so computer are not good choice for developing their skills so like communicating with friends and doing physical activities so in contrast fox and skimmaker 2012 stress out that computers have an impact on children if it is appropriately used and if learners are provided with concrete experience so if computers are not used in an appropriate manner then learning and acquiring of skills will not happen there are various ways on how computers can help in education of a young learners so a teacher can use computers for instruction to make their learning more meaningful and engaging so there are two major application of computers in instruction so computer assess instruction and computer manage instruction so first is computer assisted instruction or CAI so it is a program of instructional materials presented using computer or a computer system so in CEI, learners interact directly with the computer as a part of their learning activity. So activities include drill and practice, tutorials, stimulation, supplementary exercise, and writing using word processors. So and other application. 
So, these computer activities may be presented in materials that learners can control or do by themselves. So, it could be computer activity which reinforce materials introduced and taught by teachers. So, next is the computer managed instruction or CMI. So, it is an instructional strategy that helps teachers to provide learning objectives, learning resources, and assessment of learning performance. So, this type of computer instructional aids teacher in instructional management without actually doing the teaching. So, computer can organize and store easily or retrievable information about the relevant instructional material, materials. So, learners with or without supervision of an adults can take the test and input information and computer and diagnose the needs of the learners and prescribe it an optimal sequence of instruction for them. So next is a rule of computers. So computer technology has a deep impact on education. It becomes a part of a school curriculum because it is used in instruction. So there are various rules of computers when we speak about instruction, particularly for young learners. Computer can be used for searching information. So learners find easier to search information using pre-installed computer software like children encyclopedia or the internet. So the process of learning has gone beyond learning from the textbook. So learners are naturally curious with the availability of computers. They can find and save information using computer for future use. So next is computer are useful to store a large amount of information. So it is efficient storage of information that teachers and learners can retrieve when needed. So next is computer software like slide presentation can make a teacher presentation more engaging and interesting for young learners. So teacher can catch children's attention with delivering information using the soft be software so hence meaningful learning could be possible so next computer can save and protect the environment so by using the computer information it can be saved to storage that can be retrieved repeatedly without using paper so in this case we can prevent the cutting of trees aside from saving files are irisable to save space for more data so next is computer with internet connection can be used for online instruction teacher can teach learners even if there are they are at home exercise can also be provided for learners to do alone or with others so next is the advantage of using computers so the following are the advantages of using computers in teaching young learners. So first, is computer-based instruction allows learners to have control of the rate and sequence of their learning. So computer-assessed instruction can address the needs of the learners with special needs. So the ability of the computer or to store information can help teacher provide individual instruction and prepare individual lessons for all learners and monitor their progress and also computer can cover and manage all types and formats of information so like graphic text audio and video teacher can put more information easily for learners consumption so it can provide various experiences to children like basic instruction, remediation, and enrichment. So now we proceed to the limitation of using computers have permission. So most computer software, it requires subscription. 
So teachers and children can have main expectation with computer. So many view compute as a magical and expect learning to happen with a little or no effort. So next is there is a possibility to affect the learning of the learners to socially interact with other learners. It is because they tend to work on their own at the computer and there is a little time to work face to face with the teachers and the learners. So next is with the same activities provided by computer assisted instruction, learners tend to already know what will happen or a kind of activities are included in the program. So now we proceed in integrating the computer into the curriculum. So the ability of computers in the class is just like the first step of a task. So the ultimate value of technology is the use of computers into the curriculum. So teachers need to make appropriate planning on how to integrate the computer in teaching kindergarten learners. So below, so first is concept processing. So most of the time, when teacher present a concepts, there is a tendency that learners are not able to see the connection of the concept. So be the concept of being taught. So through the use of the computer software, teacher can arrange and organize the concept using immovable shapes and connect connect them to each other. So in this way, learners can visually see the connection and could understand it. So next, drill and practice. Children can do computer activities and allow them to do drill and practice until such the time that they have mastered the skills. So, so next is the tutorial. So computer can serve as a tutor for children. So for example, if they want to learn how to type with appropriate speed, there is a software that guides the learners to do it. Majority of games are for recreational purposes. But there are other games that are intended for instruction. So games games catch the interest of the learners. Hence, the teacher can use or create games that will help learners learn. So there is avail available software that teacher can use and design it based on the needs. So next is the simulation. So not all time we can bring learners to different place places. Through the use of computers, we can create simulation of the places where learners can experience to learn in realistic manner. So for example, te teachers can use application which stimulate imaginations and creativity among the learners. So last, the problem solving. So in a present society, learning how to solve problem is one of the most important skills that children must learn. So computer can be helped learners enhance these skills. So in solving problem, learners could use knowledge and skills that they have mastered.